Welcome back crafty friends. I'm here with a Timu haul. I could not wait to get into it. I did open the nail polish real quick and just put it on my thumb. It's thermal nail gel. It's supposed to go from purple to blue. I put it on. All I see is silver glitter. Maybe it needs to be on a lighter base coat. Here I got a bag topper die. It's um, three inches by two inches. So it's for a little bag. These are some elephant charms. Some boho elephant charms. Oh, these are awesome. Yes, I got a teal and a purple. That makes me so happy. And there's a pink, a yellow, a teal, a blue, a purple, and a black. Awesome. I love these. Those are great. This is a uh seatbelt cover thing, you know, to protect your neck. My seatbelt's always digging in my neck, and I don't know why I've never bought one, but I was scrolling on Timu, and this pops up completely out of the blue because it didn't have anything to do with what I was looking at. And I was like, hmm, you know, I'm going to grab that. <laughs> and of course, it was Stars and Moons, which is my style anyway. So I'm so excited that I got that, to be honest. I can't wait to get it because my seatbelt's always digging into my neck. I got these awesome little boho gems for all my boho crafts. Oh, it's a string of them. I just thought they were separate, but you can totally cut them apart. But look. I love these. These are great. There we go. These are awesome. I really like these. Really like those. And then this beautiful gold boho trim. Oh yeah. And this can be used as is, or you can cut like the little flowers and stuff out. That's what I've been looking for. Like everybody has, not everybody, but I mean, oh, sorry, excuse, we got Dexter here and it's thundering and storming, so. I apologize for the barking, guys. I was too excited to wait, though, to because I wanted to open my Timu package. I was so excited to get all this boho stuff. But anyway, I've been wanting, like, things that you can cut up, you know, have all these different little boho applique pieces uh, when you're making tags and pockets and stuff. So definitely love that so excited oh it was Pablo that was the problem not Dexter you know Dexter's been being really good lately so here we go I love that two pieces I really really love and I got these amazing um, these are temporary tattoos but they work um, so far all the ones I've tried anyway work great on paper so I got these for journals. And this is for a specific project. I love it so much. That's amazing. Perfect. Here we got some crystal stickers. You know when I saw these, I couldn't pass them up. Oh goodness, I got it stuck. There we go. <laughs> uh. So, we got, um, well, 
Oh, geez. Here we go. So you can see all of them. Rose quartz, pink tumbling, some regular quartz, some citrine. Love it. Gorgeous. And I don't know if the holographic, it's got holographic outlines. I can't tell if that's translating on camera. Here's our blues. So pretty. And our purples. Love those. And then what's this? Oh, these are the teeny tiny magnets. These are smaller than I thought. I think I've wanted like maybe twice that size, but these might work, you know? I'm just thinking, you know, like for closures, like hold envelopes, clothes, those kind of things, which this would probably work for that. Hopefully they're not too small to where they're, uh, you know, not strong enough. But those just totally snapped together, almost flew out of my hand. Okay, those are way tinier than I thought, you guys. <laughs> I wanted wider and flatter, <laughs> but I don't know. We'll see how they do when I get to a project that I need them on. Teeny tiny, but I did want small. I did want tiny, just, I didn't realize they were that tiny. I read the description of the measurements, but I'm not always clear on the size of millimeters. So <laughs> that's okay. I'm not disappointed or anything. I just, I hope they're strong enough. And then these are more temporary tattoos. They're gold, obviously. Gorgeous henna type designs. Henna. So you got Mandala and Paisley, which we all know I love. And look at this gorgeous uh, butterfly here. Oh, I love this design. I love it all. <laughs> That's a flower. Sorry. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy with literally everything I got. We got the gold tattoos. We have these henna color tattoos, brown and red henna color. I'm doing kind of a henna uh, journal. We got the crystal stickers. We got this gorgeous trim that I'm really happy with. And these bits here, the elephant charms, which I'm really happy with. The magnets, which could be really cool, don't know yet. The bag topper, which I needed. Small haul, but I love it all. Hopefully I love this too. I'm gonna try it on some light polish and see. I really hope that it works. All right, friends. I'm back with an update on the nail polish. It does work. It needed to be on a white base, so. You can see here how the tips are purple and the rest is blue because it's thermal. So up here is warmer and it's blue, out here is cooler, so it's purple. And then I did get some of my old uh, nail polish to work. So the cat eye polish needs to be on a dark or black background. And the thermal polish we see needs to be on a white or light background to be seen. So that's funny. So here is this one. I'm trying to get it where you guys can see the different colors. You can see the blue there, the green here. And if I get it tilted just right, look at the tip. You can see where it turns pink. So yeah, this one does green, pink, and blue. So fun. And this one is mostly just this color here. It's 
so that's all I just wanted to give you an update yay the thermal polish works and I wanted to show you how the cat's eye needs to be on dark and the thermal polish needs to be on light so I think that's funny um, how they're opposites and so I'm just super excited that it works all right guys have a good day see you later